Hey, what's going on? What's going on, beautiful family members? New subscribers, come on in. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. <sighs> Let's make it do what it do. Happy holidays. Happy Halloween. Yes, we're talking about the people that own Halloween. You know who it is. Pumpkin heads. Scarecrows. Mummies. Werewolves. Vampire bats. Witches on a broom. And most importantly, the Walking Dead. Are they not that? Come on now, get a laugh at it. The Walking Dead. Because really, that's what narcissists are. It seems like they're just Walking Dead vessels. There ain't nothing there. Happy Halloween, you narcissistic bastards. But anyway, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. <sighs> subscribe, subscribe, and like. Make sure you do that. Let's get straight to topic, though. Let me tell you something that I struggled with so bad. Oh, and even to this day. Not so much because I've healed and gone on with my journey. You know, I'm going to keep it real with you and my family. But when I look back on it, I still say things like that to a certain degree. But not, not for real. Because it's like, it is what it is. But let me tell you this. The one thing I think all of us have in common, all of our abuse is different. Everybody's story is different, right? All of our pain and, and time we spent is absolutely different. Everything's different, right? But I guarantee you that most of the time, the one thing we all have in common is this. Why couldn't they see my value in their life? Why couldn't they see me when I was the person that was there? Why can't they see me? Why didn't they see all the love I put out? Why can't they understand that I love them so much? I would have done anything. Now, look, maybe I'm going a little too deep. I'm telling you my tea, but I know I'm not alone. I know, story time. When I was going through the discard phase, and I went, well, not discard phase. Shit, it was a phase, and then I got discarded straight up. But thank you for that. I remember thinking, why? All this time, all these years, all this stuff, I did everything I could, which that's exactly what they want. They want you to keep on putting your best foot forward. They want you to work your ass off for something they know is never going to work out. Sorry, but it's true. They want you to do all this for them, but the end game for them, they know they're never going to be able to sustain you. And they shouldn't be able to sustain you because guess what? You're ahead of the game on them. But we don't understand that when we're going through pain, right? I remember saying, how come he doesn't see this? In my situation, all these years, children, I gave him children. I, and I never shared this before, so I'm going to share this. I, I have two children with the narcissist, but I also had two miscarriages um, with him. I had two babies, and then after my youngest son was born, I lost another baby, and then turned around a little while later and lost another one. So that one narcissistic person, I'm telling y'all some tea now. Telling y'all some tea. We're family. Took me a while to be able to get to a place to say this. But honestly, I gave this man two babies that are living and all together four pregnancies. Lost the last two. And I'm not just the pregnancies. I was through all, all this other stuff. Now, listen. There for the family. Family was struggling. I was there. I remember taking... Listen now. I'm giving you real, real tea. I remember people in the family. I'm not going to name it out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, was struggling and I was always there for them or they didn't have enough food or whatever and I would take food out of my own house and give it to them and I would do all these things and he yeah, come on it would take me all day to tell you that right I'm gonna write a book though I was gonna say nothing I want to tell you before I go there I have decided to finally write a book people have been saying this for you know to me for a while and about a memoir and writing a book I'm always like mm, I ain't got time for that I don't even know how to write no damn book okay but I think I'm going to invest in that. And I already know the title, but I'm not going to say that because I don't want nobody to steal it. But it's a really good title. And I'll let you all know more about it. But anyway, that was part of it. And I kept saying, he don't see me? You don't see my value and my worth? And when I bring it to the table for you? My God, and it hurts so bad, does it not? To be taken advantage of. That's the truth. Taken advantage of hoodwinked, and a person being just straight out unfair to you. That's hurtful with anybody, especially if somebody you're in a loving relationship with. It cuts like a knife because so many times, a narcissist, they do not do it, but so many times, you could have told me straight along the front, 
end, behind the back end, that you didn't want me like that and you didn't see me like that. But they don't do that. They use you to every advantage they can until they use you up and there's nothing there. And it leaves us with those things like, why can't they see my value? My worth, what I brought to the table, all the things I've done, giving them children, marrying them, building households with them, building businesses with them, being there through the thick and the thin. And you mean to tell me after all of I've done, you don't value me, you cannot see me? Well, let me tell you something. If you're going through it, your sister been there. If you've been there, you understand it. But here I will say this to all of us. So fucking what? They're not supposed to. Because they don't deserve to see the value of you. Here, here's the thing. God's protection of you is a lot of times the rejection of you. We don't understand that. That's why I said I'm not being insensitive. Because I understand that. So what? They didn't see it. They're not supposed to get it. They're not supposed to get the true value of who you are. They don't deserve it. I don't care if you've been with them 10, 15, 20 years. They still, if you look back on your life, they never deserve this from you. They didn't deserve a conversation with you the first day. Nevertheless, all the other stuff that we have done. So what? They don't see it. They're not supposed to. So what? They're not. Listen to me. Not only that, you never really got a chance to really fully see me. Because what I believe in, you know, I believe in, you know, believe in what you believe in strongly. Seeing what you were doing when I didn't see it. And I'm being protected from your sorry ass. That's the main reason why you didn't see it. Not Well, that's not the only reason. But I will tell you that I learned spiritually. That is the main reason. Because a narcissist can't do nothing with your spirituality. They can do all this other stuff. But it means absolutely nothing. When you have a connection to what you believe in. Because they're stronger than that. But a narcissist will never ever show you the true value of you because the showing you the true value of you gives you power that they don't want you to have. The power they know that you automatically have anyway. They don't want you to know that, but they know you had that power. That's why they want to come in and suck that power from you because they don't have it. You are the one. You the one got the juice, baby. You are the eye of the tiger. Yes, you're the one that has it. They know it and they want to, they just want to take that all from you and leave you with nothing. And it leaves you so messed up thinking why they can't see my value. Why after everything I did, they could do me like this. It's not because they don't see it. They absolutely see that. They see it even if you don't think they see it. They see it now. They see it now. Don't get it twisted. They see it now. But doing that and showing you that, well, of course. That'll make them look bad, right? That'll make them look like they have no power at all. They want all the strength to be in their corner. But no matter what they do, it never works out like that. It never works out like that. A narcissist does not want you to know the power and the strength that you have. They just don't. That's why so many times we're sitting around here saying why they didn't see our value and our worth. For one, it's not meant for them. to. They see it. But they're not supposed to really understand it. I believe, maybe I'm wrong, this is what I believe. If someone like that was able to really get it for real, imagine the true, they've done damage already, but just imagine the real damage they will ultimately do to you. We're protected by things we don't understand, y'all. We are, we are. We are protected by it. So what, they didn't see it. You didn't deserve it, no way. So what you didn't see, everything I've done for, me, for you. But I know what I did for you, and I'm going to get it back. And whatever, I believe in seeing what I've done for you and endured for you. So it's coming my way. It's coming straight for me. Just like all the shit you took advantage of and you didn't see, now you're going to sit in the shit that you didn't see and you didn't understand. Listen, it's a full, it, look, all of it runs together, fam. You don't see, like I tell you before, you put out good stuff, good stuff come back. You put out good, bad stuff, bad stuff come back. The main reason why you don't understand why a narcissist didn't see your value, because they're not supposed to fully see your value. It's not because you're not valuable. You're not, it's not because you're not valuable. You're more than valuable to a person like that. And the blinders are not only put on by whatever you believe in. The blinders are put on, like I said before, about, the, about their vision being smeared. They never can see you clearly like that because their vision and everything is smeared anyway. Their perception of you is never going to be 100. 
thank God for that. Because guess what? If it was one, let, let me tell you something. This is deep. Now listen to me. Imagine if a narcissist had 100% clarity of you with a clear lens and then was able to manipulate and do the things they did and they have a clear vision of you, the damage would be something that we would never recover from. See, that we're saved a lot of times by the things that we don't think are benefiting us. Yeah. When we don't think a narcissist sees us and we look, sit back and say, I can't understand why they don't say, they're not supposed to. And if they were in a position to really see you through a clear lens, the way they're supposed to, and then be able to manipulate you and hurt you and dog you, my God, it almost, the damage would probably be irreversible. You better be grateful they don't see you like that. Because if they really did, honey, you think we're in pain and we've been through shit now? It's nothing compared to what it would be like if they can clearly see you. You better thank God they didn't. Them not seeing you was the biggest blessing of your life. Now go and find somebody that does. I see you clearly. You're amazing. You're wonderful. You're sexy. You're all the things smart, intelligent, and most importantly, you're blessed. You're too blessed to be stressed. And I know it's not easy. It's easier said than done. If you're there and you're struggling, you're going to get on the other side of that and you understand this message. And then the ones that's already there, you all get it. I love you so much. Don't forget. Them not seeing your value, the biggest blessing of all time. Thank you. Now I can find somebody that does. I love y'all. Make sure you like and subscribe. Have a good one. Happy Halloween, y'all.